What's up? How y'all doing? How y'all feeling? And how is y'all mind? Sorry, y'all. I'm just... Because I'm rushing. I'm rushing. Like, I really was tripping today. I read a little, a little late. Like, sleep was just too good. I don't know. I really don't know. But anyway, y'all. As y'all can see in the video that y'all just watched. And if y'all didn't watch that, go back. Watch the video. Um... I was talking about prayer and reading the scriptures, right? So as y'all know, because I told y'all in the video, I had to make a little public service announcement. That um that video that I recorded that I was talking about, about how I was talking about counterfeits. <laughs> Ain't it funny? How the file is not working. All the other files on the, the computer and the laptop, and I mean same thing, right? The laptop and the and the camera is working but for some reason that video and i and i get into counterfeits okay and i said i wanted to sit down and have this conversation because i ain't want no distractions we still want to sit down and have it but i'm gonna give you a little bit something something now because we we we're we gonna stay on this for a minute get like five minutes every single day because we need to stay into this because god reminded me of the expectations that i had on myself when it came to reading the bible see i was lying to myself i was making up all these excuses of why i couldn't read scriptures and stuff like that and then god said i'm not asking you to read the whole book in one day i'm not asking you to read a whole chapter one day how don't you how about you pick a verse and you study that or how about you pick a section and you study that it's bit by bit why you keep thinking out i want you to go like this why you think i'm rushing that's the way the world sees everything they want it like this my blessings seem like it take forever when they come to you right because then he reminded me of when I was sitting there. I was waiting on my phone. My phone had broke, cracked or whatever. And it told me it was going to be there by a certain day. It wasn't. And then I was just sitting there. You know you know how we get. <laughs> and if you don't get like that, God bless you. But um, I'm like, where is this package coming from? Like, where is it at? What is it doing? And child by like, I've never been convicted by the Holy Spirit like that. He was like, because I... I had made, I was like, I bet you everybody else getting their packages. It's 5 o'clock. I still ain't getting my package. I'm refreshing the app. God said, you so worried about if everybody else got their package. You don't even, what if they package been taking a little uh, uh, little bit longer and it feels like it's longer to you, but it feels like it's just as long to them. How about what if they been, uh, they already put in the order, but what he meant was prayer um, before you did and they received their package. How about you don't even know what size your package is, meaning the package was a blessing. If y'all don't understand that, package was a blessing, um, order was prayer, all that stuff. So I want y'all to understand that because we're going to get into that a little bit later on. I'm going to use that that for a later on video. But I was talking about this counterfeit thing in the in the video and i was telling y'all y'all we gotta read up on scriptures and that's the only way we're gonna know the word because a lot of us get confused because you know some of us have been praying for that blessing for so long you know what i'm saying and then the enemy sees that and he knows that and he'll use that and and send all counterfeits all type of stuff you've been praying over a job you're gonna send that that, that fake job he gonna send that job that's not for you you've been praying on that that spouse he gonna send that spouse that's not for you they gonna look like they got everything on the outside end. and that was another thing that god reminded me to to um to do because the reason why we need prayer and we need to read the word is because we judge people on the outside what they look like god is judging them on a heart posture what's in their heart so the only way we're gonna be able to know if this person or this thing is good and it's for us is if we go to god first you get what i'm saying we, we shouldn't be making decisions outside of God. And a lot of us do. But even when we do make that decision, you still need to go back. But I promise you, I promise you, what I've learned is when I make, when I, before I go um, to make a decision, I'm, I'm, I'm literally a procrastinator by heart. God reminded me, thank you, because I needed to do that. At one time when I was living, when I was living in sin, right? When I was, that, that female that did not know who she was, who God called her uh, to. When I would judge on the guy that I should date, the guy that I should, whatever situation, whatever it was, because you know, I'm not about to sit here and lie to you like I was some peaches and cream, because never was that. But I would wait and ponder on it, but the way I would judge it, it wasn't about the longevity. It wasn't about who this person 
was to me or for me and all this other stuff and god would be like i remember one time i was i was thinking about something so hard and i not and back then i didn't really know because i didn't have a relationship with god and i would heard i heard like you know be careful because you're going to have to reap what you sow basically it was like it wasn't it wasn't that per se it was like more so like consequences to your actions that's all i heard consequences to your actions thank you consequences to your actions and i didn't understand like later on down the line the consequences will be shown like later on years that i will always have to face some of this stuff so we got to be mindful and you know when we make decisions we definitely need to go to god we got to write, read scripture because i promise you pray pray to god internally you don't even gotta tell nobody what you're going through don't tell nobody pray to god internally i bet you when you open up that book he gonna give you a scripture to what you're praying for I, I i don't know i think i said in another video but lately right before you know everybody was doing this 11 11 12 12 12 i was seeing that stuff too okay I felt like I was posing it before everybody else. You know what I'm saying? You know how we be doing, but anyway. And, um, you know, and they be like, make a wish and do all this other stuff. I started changing it to prayer. I'm going to pray. Not for something that I want, but I'm going to pray over something that I'm thankful for. That I already have. Then, I started saying, I'm going to read the scriptures. So, when I see certain numbers that stand out, and I've been seeing them along, I go read the scripture try that but y'all i love y'all we're gonna get into this um because he don't want me to tell you about these counterfeits <laughs> and they real like you gotta get like i don't know why that video is not there it's so crazy and i really was like talking about dreams and all type of stuff how i had a dream and i was like that's not from god and I, lately i've been having i'm gonna tell y'all right now in this video i've lately i've been having a lot of um marriage dreams because that's a desire that's in my heart and the enemy been sending me that and i'm like that ain't god i know i know god that ain't god it's a bunch of confusion that ain't god that's not what my blood no because god already put a vision inside me already come on y'all y'all have a blessed day have a wonderful day go out there change the perspective um give it to god because you're gonna get tested before, you know because you already liked it and um I love y'all so much. I thank y'all for watching. Tune in. Ooh, child. Bye. Sorry, y'all. I'll just... Child. Remind, can y'all remind me to clean out my car? Can y'all please remind me to do that? Um, Yeah. I'll see y'all later.